welcome to our Week in Review for January 31st, 2018. This week we're going to be covering alligators in Florida, our weekend at Crystal River kayaking with manatees, RV maintenance on the roof of our RV, cleaning out our possessions, and finally our trip to South America this coming weekend. So let's hop in and talk about um, alligators. So this week, when we were eating lunch, um, old Eagle Eye Steve happened to notice that there was something crawling around in a yard next to us. And upon further explanation and basically picking me up and dragging me out the door to see it, yes, it was an alligator. I, I tried to work with the alligator a little bit, teaching it tricks like fetch, roll over, but apparently alligators don't like to be treated like dogs. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. Um, but you did a, a good job at chasing him away, which was great, because uh, one of our concerns was he is in the yard, and um, there's quite a few uh, little animals and, and pets um, that go over into that yard and treat it as a potty. So, you know, we didn't want them to get hurt. For those who are worried about us, uh, the alligator really was a small baby alligator less than four feet long, and yes, I'm well aware an alligator can run 11 miles an hour and that they are dangerous, but when they're in that baby stage, they haven't really learned anything. We were never closer than six, seven feet from it. It's amazing what you can do with a camera to make it look a little different than that, but right. we, we, we stayed our safe distance, and we are well aware of how to handle alligators. <laughs> So this weekend we went over to uh, Crystal River, Florida in hopes to uh, go kayaking with some manatee. Crystal River is a large tributary that runs out of the Gulf just north of Tampa. Um, has a lot of inlets from different boats and uh, it seems like the city has a street. Every street has a little boat dock and a tributary into the river. Yeah, and the manatee really like to hang out there. Um, it, since this year has been extremely cold in Florida in comparison to, you know, the past decade or more, um, they, they've they really congregated in that area just to stay warm. The day that we chose to go out kayaking, it was a little bit rough. Uh, the, the, the inlet was, was pretty choppy. Um, so it took all that we had to get... Um, where we wanted to go. We never quite made it into Three Sister Springs. However, we did see some manatee. Our kayak over was about three miles, as Mary said, through the wind and the waves, and it, our kayaks performed really well. We didn't see any manatee until we were almost at Three Sisters, and there was a whole area that is a manatee sanctuary, I think is the way they phrased it. So although it was not allowed to be in with a speedboat, you were allowed to go kayaking there. And we got to see a lot of manatees that would pop their heads out of the water to take a quick breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were hoping to see um, something like this. You know, where the water was nice and clear and there were snorkelers out. Um, that is not what we saw. But, you know, maybe next time. One did a real nice belly roll in front of Mary's kayak for her, so she got a good view. Yeah, unfortunately it was so fast that we didn't get any uh, pictures or video of them. But, um, you know, we have it right here. It's in the memory. We got to watch some dolphins chase a sailboat in. That was pretty neat to see. Yeah, they, they looked like they were having a really good time. Coming out of the water, uh, full body, just following in along. I got to spend a day this week on roof maintenance. RVs have two types of roofs, either a fiberglass or a rubberized membrane. Ours has the membrane. Now, when we park and we're out at camp and you're under the pine trees, you get a lot of pine cones, needles, leaves, squirrels, everything else falling. And then you've got to go up and clean that roof off every now and then or the rubber gets stained and starts breaking down. So in addition to just cleaning it, um, you know, making sure that the, you put on a good UV protector is important too. Um, just the, the heat from the sun and the rays from the sun um, really does, a, it, it's pretty harsh on that rubberized membrane. There was a secondary reason to be up on top this week also, was to get our final measurements for our solar plants. With this coming trip to Alaska, we're planning on a lot of boondocking. Boondocking being when you just pull to the side of the road, nowhere, and live in nature without being plugged in. 
Uh, that does require that we keep the battery bank up, so we're looking at installing solar on the top so that we can spend more days unhooked. Right, and and with the uh, and with that, we'll add a couple of additional batteries just to give us a little bit more um, power, um, all stored up and ready to go. Sad moment this week, we had our final trip into Disney World, at least on this year's annual pass. Yes, yeah, I'm sure we will be back multiple times in the future. Um, but it was a great trip. Uh, we went into Hollywood Studios. Uh, was able to ride all of the rides that we wanted to uh, within a three-hour span. Really didn't have to wait in line very long. Um, it it was it was really very good. Hollywood Studios was always good park. For us, we have a lot of favorite memories. Uh, dancing around in the back streets of America one night when it started raining and the entire crowd left. We were just a family of four alone in the back side of the park, surrounded by buildings with, well, fake facades. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. We had to uh, make up our own little stories and act them out. And, um, you know, I, I recall the girls yelling down the street at one couple rushing past trying to make it to the exit and um, it, it was just a great time. We also um, sold our bike this week, uh, meaning our scooter. Um, that was one of the last items that we had that we wanted to really make sure that we didn't have to carry with us uh, when we take off. So now we're down to the RV, the Jeep, and two kayaks. And everything fits in it. This Sunday, we fly from Miami to South America. Yeah, we've, we'll fly into Quito, Ecuador, and uh, we get to take an eco tour of the Amazon that is in Ecuador. And then we'll fly over to Peru, Lima, Peru, and then over to Cusco and Machu Picchu. So we're we're really excited about all of those places. All of them, we, we haven't been to a single one of them before. Um, reading up as much as we can, and uh, it just looks like it's going to be a fascinating trip. Of course, we won't be doing a weekend review next week or the week after while we're there. Limited ability for Wi-Fi and such, but we're looking forward to catching you up on all the stories and pictures as soon as we're back. And we will be posting um, as we can while we're there, um, so be on the lookout for those. Well, that's it for this week. Wish you all safe travels in some days.